Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Highlighting Expert is a tool which allows you to apply a specified formatting to a field when it meets a criteria which you set. For example, you could change the color of the font used to display numbers in a field to red, but only if they were negative, for example. To use the Highlighting Expert within a report, first select the field to which you wish to apply the conditional formatting. Next, click the Highlighting Expert button in the Experts toolbar, or choose Format from the menu bar, and then Highlighting Expert. This will launch the Highlighting Expert dialog box. In this dialog box, you can click the New button to create a new item in the list at the left. On the right side of this dialog box, in the Item Editor section, you can create and edit the formula used to apply the desired formatting. Use the Value Of drop-down to select the name of the field whose value you wish to use as the basis of the condition you're about to specify. Notice that you can select a field to format, but base the formatting of that field upon the value of another field which you would specify here. Use the drop-down below the first drop-down to then specify the comparison operator used for the condition. The third drop-down allows you to specify a value from the selected field, or you can simply type in your own if you would like. Notice that as you make or enter your choices from the drop-down menus available, that the condition displays itself in the item list at the left side of the dialog box. Next, you choose the formatting to apply to the selected field when the criteria which you specified is met. So you can use the font style drop-down to choose a font style for the display. The font color allows you to specify a font color. The background allows you to choose a background color. And notice in these drop downs, if the color you want isn't available, you can always scroll down to the bottom and choose Custom to launch the color dialog box where you can define your own custom colors. You can also use the border drop down to select the type of border to apply to the selected values when they match the condition specified. And once again, once you've made all of your choices, you can see how it's going to display in the sample box down at the bottom. At that point, you can create additional conditions to which you would like to apply formatting to the same field by simply clicking the New button again and then repeating the same process of selecting values and formatting. If you have a condition specified for a field which you no longer wish to apply, you can actually select the condition and click the Remove button at the bottom of the item list. If you have multiple conditional formatting formulas listed in the item list, you can click the up and down arrows to the right of the item list to reorganize the priority with which the conditional formatting will be enforced. Whenever you've finished specifying any conditional formatting choices you want, you can just simply click the OK button at the bottom of the Highlighting Expert dialog box and then preview the report to view the selected conditional formatting which you've chosen to apply. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.